Ford's been pumping out these American beauties for 60 years, with legends like the Boss 302 and Shelby GT500. But there's a whole hidden garage of Mustangs most folks have never seen. We're about to unveil the rarest Mustangs so shadowy they make ninjas jealous. These are five of the rarest Mustangs that you have never heard of. Number 5. The Kenny Brown 289RS Late 90s Mustangs? Remember Roush and Celine turning them into fire-breathing monsters? Kenny Brown's 289RS was no different. This wasn't your average Mustang. It began as a 1998 SVT Cobra, but Kenny Brown went wild to make it a track superstar. They boosted the engine size from 281 cubic inches to a mighty 289RS, bolted on a Vortex supercharger for extra punch, and tossed the stock exhaust for a brand new system. The end result? A jaw-dropping jump from 305 horsepower to a tire-shredding 450. That translates to launching from 0 to 60 in a mind-blowing 4.4 seconds and conquering the quarter mile in almost 13 seconds. But wait, there's more! The 289RS wasn't just a straight-line dominator, Kenny Brown wanted a balanced track champion. So they outfitted it with wider forge line wheels wrapped in super sticky tires, Brembo brakes that could haul it back from warp speed, and a completely revamped suspension. Bilstein shocks, extra subframe bracing, the whole package. This Mustang could corner like it was glued to the asphalt. These 289RS unicorns were only made in 1998, the final year of the SN95 Mustang design. There's no official production number, but let's just say they're rarer than a four-leaf clover. Number 4. The Iacocca 45th Anniversary Mustang Lee Iacocca, the Mustang's godfather, wouldn't settle for anything ordinary for the pony car's 45th birthday. Forget a commemorative plaque, they built him a masterpiece. This started with a 2009 Mustang GT, a force in its own right. But the Gafolio family metal crafters, wizards of car design, went under the hood and everywhere else. They sculpted a whole new body, reworking the front and rear fascias for a fresh look. But the real head turner, a brand new roof line that brought back the iconic fastback design. This wasn't just a Mustang, it was a time machine with a modern edge. The interior got the VIP treatment too. Plush new materials and special badges shouted limited edition from every stitch. But the upgrades weren't just cosmetic, they threw in a top-notch Ford racing suspension and Brembo brakes for razor-sharp handling. Stock, it packed the same 300 horsepower punch as the Mustang GT. But here's the secret weapon, you could add a supercharger to unleash over 400 horses. Pure muscle with a luxurious touch. There was a catch, though. These Iacocca Mustangs were rarer than a four-leaf clover. Only 45 were ever built, and all sold exclusively through Galvin Ford in 2009. Number 3. The 1984 Mustang GT350 The 1984 GT350 might trick you with its name. No Shelby magic here. Back then, muscle cars were struggling with emissions regulations, so Ford needed a way to boost sales without cranking up horsepower. Their answer? A splash of nostalgia. The 1984 GT350 was a Fox body Mustang wrapped in heritage. All white with red accents inside and out, it mirrored the classic GT350S, but with a twist red stripes instead of the iconic blue. Think of it as a glorified appearance package. Available on both the turbo 4-cylinder and 5.0-liter V8 engines, these Mustangs weren't exactly speed demons. The turbo 4 wheezed out 145 horsepower, and the V8 maxed out at a measly 175. Not exactly barn burners. Around 5,200 GT350S were built, and that's probably a good thing. While the idea of a retro Mustang was cool, this execution wasn't quite a muscle car revival. Let's just say they borrowed the legend's name without capturing its spirit. Love these Mustang myths? Want more car craziness? Like and subscribe or your next ride is a tricycle. Now it's time for number 2. The Boss 10L Mustang. Forget everything you thought you knew about Mustangs. The 1990 Boss 10L Mustang was a fire-breathing, tire-shredding monster built for one thing, drag racing supremacy. This wasn't your average showroom stallion, it was a one-off weapon designed to smoke the competition, specifically the 1993 Chevy Camaro ZL1. Both cars were built for the same reason, to crank up the hype for their respective muscle car lines. Under the hood, not your typical Mustang engine. This beast sported a 600 plus cubic inch all aluminum monster based on the legendary Boss 429 motor. Roush engineers threw everything but the kitchen sink at it, building a power plant worthy of drag racing royalty. The result? A mind blowing 800 horsepower and 800 pound feet of torque. Easy 10 second runs in the quarter mile? Absolutely. In the 90s, that was pure insanity. This wasn't a car for Sunday drives. A C6 automatic transmission handled the shifting duties, but even that struggled to contain the raw power of the 10-liter engine. 
In a hilarious twist, both the Mustang and Camaro, its intended rival, ended up dead even in a car and driver test. But here's the kicker, neither car was ever meant for production. The 10L Mustang remains a one-of-a-kind beast, a testament to unbridled muscle car madness. Now it lives out its days in the personal collection of Jack Roush himself. Number 1. The FR500 Mustang In 2000, Ford's secret gearheads, the Skunk Works team, got $500,000 to unleash their inner mad scientists on a mission to build the ultimate Mustang. They started with a new edge Mustang, but this wasn't going to be any ordinary pony car. They ripped out the stock engine and replaced it with a monstrous 5.0 liter V8. But wait, there's more! They tricked it out with performance upgrades like new heads, wilder cams, and a crazy light magnesium intake manifold. Forget the stock 305 horsepower, this beast breathed fire with a whopping 415 horses. The factory 5-speed transmission? No way. That wouldn't hold a candle to this power. They threw in a heavy-duty Tremec T56 6-speed manual to handle all the extra muscle. This wasn't a Mustang, it was a fire-breathing champion built to break limits. The FR500 was Ford's Skunk Works dream, a tire-shredding, Corvette-eating monster that almost became reality. Here's the crazy part. They basically shoved a 5.0-liter V8 behemoth into a New Edge Mustang, but not just any placement. The engine sat nearly behind the front wheels, creating a mid-engine layout for insane weight distribution. To shed pounds, they threw in carbon fiber everywhere, fenders, hood, even the quarter panels. The stock suspension was tossed for a high-performance setup with custom coilovers, and Brembo brakes became the new stoppers. This wasn't just a powerful Mustang, it was a corner-carving beast that could hang with Corvettes on the track. So why aren't we cruising around in FR500S today? The FR500 was so different, it would have messed with plans for the Cobra and Mach 1. In the end, only two test cars were ever built, making the FR500 one of the rarest and most badass Mustangs ever created. And that's it for our top 5 rarest, most insane Mustangs ever. These untamed beasts are a testament to pushing boundaries and raw muscle car power. What was your favorite? Did one leave you wanting to trade in your keys for a fire-breathing unicorn? Let us know in the comments below, and if you dug this Mustang madness, smash that like button and subscribe for more epic car content.